hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today's fashion friday video is something special something fun if you follow along on the rest of my channel for my weekly vlogs you know that my boyfriend clayton and i are leaving for a month for new york city so the whole backstory and everything like that is in our vlogs if you want to catch up on that if you haven't already seen it but today's video is going to be dedicated to what i packed for a month in new york city at this time of year so the middle of fall pretty much it was very challenging to pack for that long i haven't taken a trip that long ever and i just have like a lot of pressure on my new york city outfits because a lot of the times when i'm shopping or styling and putting together outfits i just imagine things specifically in new york city clothing wise so there's so many outfits that i wanted to bring and things that i wanted to express while i was there for the longest time that i've been there so far in my life but obviously it's only 30 days so i can't do everything and i can only pack so much so that being said this is not like a complete capsule wardrobe this is not as minimalistic or like conservatively packed as it could be because my career is a fashion blogger so i want to have like more clothes than the average person probably would on a trip and clothing is my passion so i just had to go a little ham but also that being said i did style pretty much like every item in each outfit multiple ways so it's kind of capsule but not to the full extent that it could be if that makes sense so without further ado let's get into the outfits also the way that i set this up for any kind of trip including this one is i try on all my outfits i style them and i put i take a picture of them in the mirror and then i put it all in an album in my phone it is the biggest game changing hack for me for packing and getting dressed on trips it's even great if you're not going on a trip to just have an album in your phone of outfits that are good for that season that are already styled you already know what you look like in them and you can just go look on your phone and get going for the day you do have to block off one day to do all that work but i think it's so worth it so i'm just gonna go over these outfits with you guys so this first outfit I have here is my favorite pair of Abercrombie trousers. They feel like pajamas. They are so comfortable. They're so flattering. Um, I think they changed the sizing on them a little bit. This pair is an older pair. They still make the same pants, but I wear an extra small in this pair. But the new rendition, I wear a small. So they both fit me well, but I would recommend getting a small now because the old extra small is what fits me as an extra small but anyways these are kind of like a blue like a bluish tint gray color they go with everything and then i have this little like dressy top from shoot i forget where this top is from oh Polly, i think and i was actually gonna wear this on a summer trip but i didn't get around to it so i styled it with pants for this this is like a kind of going out dinner outfit but not super over the top this little belt that i have is from asos it's super old it adds a little bit of flair and then these tony bianco boots they're like knee-high boots that i am obsessed with i talked about them in my fall shoe trends video but they also look great under pants and kind of just poking out as a little square toed booty and then this little dior saddlebag she will be getting a lot of use on this trip i just love the colors and kind of the texture that it adds to an outfit so this is this is a good one okay next up this is like a going out outfit i did pack a couple of things that were more dressy for dinners obviously a huge lure to that city is just how amazing the food is so we're going to be going to dinners and experiencing that and having fun with that so i have some dressy things house of cb is my absolute go-to for anything dressy pretty much so this dress is immaculate from them i wear a size small they are very tight on the like bodice area for me but they really snatch you in and if they offer the fuller chest size and anything i always get that because yeah we're working with a lot right there she's super cute i love all the details and then i went with this black boot that i have styled a million times i'm obsessed with them they're from express they're like a shiny croc 
pointed toe boot and then this little black bag is kind of like a Balenciaga dupe and I actually like it better than the Balenciagas because it doesn't have any logo on it so it's a little bit more subtle and that is from Miss Lola and sorry these pictures are like terrible pictures but you don't put a lot of effort in normally when you do them you're just rifling through outfits so if you guys follow along on Instagram, which you should if you don't, I mean you don't have to, but I would love it if you did because we have fun over there too. You'll see a lot of these on my feed in more full fruition with like hair and makeup and all the, all the good vibes. But this is like the premature stage of these outfits. Okay, next up is another going out outfit. This, you can't see it that well, but this is a strapless little black dress that has this like draping long piece of fabric on the side it's so flattering and it's so comfy it's so stretchy it's from american threads and then i threw on this trench coat it's a burberry trench coat that clayton and i got in amsterdam a few years ago and we share it and we love it so much we get a ton of use out of it and then the little dior bag again and those tony bianco boots more in their full height now also a lot of things in the packing anything that was kind of like unisex or things that me and clayton share he also has outfits with those items so we're like making the most as much as we can which by the way his outfits are so fire too we co-styled them all yesterday and i enjoy styling him more than myself they're gonna be so good so you guys need to follow him on instagram as well so you can see his fire fits Okay, next one. This is a little bit more casual, um, kind of just like an everyday outfit, I guess. This pair of jeans, I believe, is my white fox denim high-waisted with a little booty slit in the back for some spice. They're super cute. I'm obsessed with this pair of jeans. The iconic platform mini Ugg that is the shoe of the season, it seems like. And then the Dior bag again. We are just loving her. This jacket is a vintage jacket that we got from, we thrifted it in Nashville when we visited Hunter and Julia. And it's a Steelers jacket, which I'm a Raiders fan. But the thing is, it's really freaking cute. And with thrifting, if you find it, you get it. So I'm sorry to all the Steelers fans that feel robbed, but like you can go thrift one too. <laughs> and also the Raiders are so bad that just... I do have Raiders merch that's so cute as well, but you know, it just hurts to be a Raiders fan, so let me have the Steelers moment, okay? And then this little black tank top. This one is from White Fox, I believe, and I just like the like cropped proportions, but this jacket literally weighs four pounds. So like we weighed it quite literally weighs four pounds. So it is very warm. So even though it's a crop top, I feel like I'm gonna have enough warmth and some of the days is like high 60s that we're gonna be there so i think there's i think this outfit is okay but i might freeze my ass off i don't know okay next one is a little bit more girly a little bit more chic i guess um these boots i don't remember where these are from maybe zara a few years ago but they're super comfy i wore them to paris one time and walked miles and miles in them so those are a great shoe for walking a lot this little gray blue skirt is from Princess Polly. And then this is like a sweater. I think it's cashmere from Uncle Studios, which is Allegra Shaw's brand. It's such good stuff. And then this chunky scarf, I want to say it's from Free People. It's just a nice neutral color. And then the black bag from Miss Lola again. So just like a good daytime outfit, but a little bit more girly. And if it's really cold when I'm wearing this, I'll probably just throw on black tights. Okay, next up is something that's just kind of comfy. This is great for like if I have meetings because um, we are going to be doing a lot of work stuff while we're out there meeting with brands and clients and things like that. This is that same pair of Abercrombie trousers paired with the mini Ugg just to like spice it up and make it a little more interesting. I saw a TikTok that was giving styling advice. The girl was like an amazing stylist and one of her tips was to choose the wrong shoe, which I actually love. A lot of times I choose the correct shoe and just do something more basic and classic. But if you wanna make your outfit more interesting or funky, choosing the wrong shoe is a great tip. I felt like this was the wrong shoe in the right way. And then this little sweater vest is from H&M. It's oversized. It's super comfy. And then this little turtleneck bodysuit is from Abercrombie and it's really, really comfy as well. And then I paired this with my vintage Jackie O Gucci bag, which we are going to get a lot of use out of on this trip as well. Just wait, you know, she is, these bags with the print on them are giving me the perfect amount of texture and like 
pattern that I want in my outfits. Okay, next one is very just like simple, classic, great daytime outfit. It feels kind of like maybe a little bit touristy even, which I am not a New Yorker, obviously, so... I mean, here I am in a Yankees hat just being a fraud. These are the viral vegan leather trousers from Abercrombie, which I rave about all the time because they are literally so comfortable, so flattering, and just, you can style them a million ways. So definitely bringing those. I do recommend sizing up one size in those if you guys are into them. I think they run a little small. My platform Converse, ride or die for those, can walk miles in those as well. We're gonna get good use out of those. This denim shirt from H&M. I am obsessed with this shirt. I wear it so much. I just feel so attached to it. So she's coming for sure. Then this is that same bodysuit from Abercrombie. Turtleneck ribbed bodysuit. A little Yankees hat so I can be a fraud New Yorker. A fake New Yorker. And this little vintage Louis Vuitton bag that is actually my mother's. Which she gave to me, I think. She doesn't ask for it back, so I think it's fine. Okay, next is a little bit edgier, but a great daytime outfit as well. So this is the Abercrombie trouser, or Abercrombie vegan leather pants again in black. And then this oversized leather, like, bomber jacket from Pixie Market. This style of jacket has been really popular during this season. I've seen it styled so many ways, so love that. The Samba sneaker, which is a huge shoe trend right now as well. These are so freaking comfy you guys oh my gosh and they look really good with a lot of things and then you can't really see the sweatshirt underneath but wait that's not a sweatshirt that's a t-shirt that is a vintage t-shirt that i don't know where it came from it came in the mail one day and i either ordered it and didn't remember or somebody sent it to me with no note but it's like a cute little football print then that same scarf just tossed over to make it uh, like soften the look a little bit because it was just a lot of leather and like not enough other texture or color i guess so i like that one um and then the plain black bag from miss lola okay next one is like a dinner outfit but it's not super dressed up but it is a little dressed up so this is the low-rise denim that i shared in my white fox haul last week i love them so much you guys they are so comfortable and i think that they're really flattering and just like fun and different so i like the way that they look with crop tops just for like the Portion. So I paired it with that black crop top that I was wearing earlier and the denim shirt that I am severely attached to, the black bag from Miss Lola, and then the shoes that I'm wearing are those croc boots that I was wearing with the pink dress, but just under these jeans. And since they're like wide leg, low rise denim, they can cover that boot and you can't really tell. So that's nice. Okay, and then next up is another low-rise denim outfit. Same vibe, like, would wear this to a dinner that's not super fancy, but, like, I'm gonna be a city girl. Like, you're kind of fancy or just, like, more stylized every day on a, on a general basis, I think. So, yeah, that pair of denim with the same boots, the same bag, and then this little top is, like, a scandalous workwear top that I think is really cute and fun. It's from Princess Polly, and it's quite small on the girlies. I got a size four. I probably could have done a six, but it's really cute. So I love that. Obviously this looks really cold. I think I'm going to wear the Burberry trench coat over this or another jacket like when I'm out and about. But if we take a picture or something, I'm like, I'm going to let this outfit have its moment without a jacket. Maybe, or maybe it's just too cold and I won't wear this at all. We'll see. Okay, next up is the Burberry Trench again. This is styled with a black bodysuit that you can't really see. It's like a ribbed bodysuit from White Fox. It's super comfy and stretchy. And then a pair of black leather shorts, which I think are a really good fall staple. My pair is from Express, I think. Burberry Trench and then this little black and white checkered scarf, which I don't remember where this is from. Misguided, maybe. Black bag for Miss Lola and those black boots that I was talking about from Zara. So this is kind of like a casual, everyday outfit. Again, if it's too cold for the shorts on their own, I'll just throw on a pair of tights. And have you guys seen those tights that are like wool lined, but they don't look like it? It looks like just your skin or whatever underneath, but it's like you're wearing fuzzy leggings. Brilliant idea. Okay, this next outfit, Clayton loves so much. It's probably the most basic one in here. <laughs> and I feel like it, it was like... I didn't know if I wanted to bring it to New York because it felt so simple and like I could literally wear it anywhere in America, but I need outfits like that too. So these are the white fox denim with the booty rip, the mini Ugg, the Miss Lola black bag, and then that same bodysuit I was wearing in the last one, the ribbed one with a little cropped puffer vest, a brown one, which is from H&M 
last year or the year before and then a balenciaga dad hat so just like a really casual daytime outfit next up is another casual daytime outfit a little bit more dressed up a little more girly a little more chic than some of the other ones this is the same pair of leather shorts that i just styled previously with a little cropped like white bralette basically it's very very cropped it's from urban outfitters this really oversized i think i got it in size extra large or a, a large that's why it's so oversized on me but this sweater that is so comfy and so cute from urban outfitters i'm obsessed with it clayton also styled it for his outfits and it turned out so cute it's just really really comfy i'm obsessed with it and then the black and white checkered scarf from i think misguided and those pants from zara i mean boots from zara I think I do, I don't have a purse in this picture. I think I do that black Miss Lola purse. Okay, next up is a going out outfit that's a little bit more casual, but it's really fun. So this top is from the latest House of CB collection. It is a little tie top. It's sheer. It's got the embellishment and like floral applique vibe. It's so cute. It has little bell sleeves. It's just very detailed and fun. I styled a black lace bra under that to tie in the black shoes and this black Prada bag. I'm wearing the low-rise white fox denim here again, so it's cute. It's a cute vibe. This one is another going out outfit, dinner outfit. Not super dressed up, like it's still denim and it's a little bit casual, but it's definitely kind of spicy. So this one I'm gonna have to wear on a warmer night or just layer another jacket over this because you know, I'm exposed again. This is the low-rise denim with the same croc boots underneath, my black Prada bag, and then the black crop top from White Fox, and this cropped leather jacket from Storettes, which is so cute. Storettes has really good leather jackets, and this one is just so cute, so I like that. And if I wear another jacket over, I'll probably do the trench or like a like Pico vibe or something. Okay, this one is a little more casual, a little like boyish. Gives me Euro vibes for sure. You can't really see them, but the faux leather shorts are on here. And then this sweater is the um, Uncle Studio one, the cashmere. And then I layered the sweater vest over that. So it's just like kind of oversized, flowy, cozy feel. Again, I can wear tights under this if I'm too cold in just the shorts black Zara boots, my mom's bag, that's my bag, and the Yankees hat again because I am faking it till I make it. Okay, this one I really like. It's quite boyish feeling to me and just super comfy but like street style, so great for daytime, but still like very neutral and wearable too. So this pair of denim is the White Fox booty rip, I think, the cozy little Uggs, and then the sweatshirt is from Anine Bing. It's so cute. It has like some distressing. It's this nice faded navy color. It's a hoodie and it's just so cozy. I layered the Burberry trench over that with my Jackie O bag to kind of tie in that like navy and darker color and then a little beanie on top. I love this outfit. Okay, next one is a going out outfit, definitely a little bit more dressed up. You can't really tell because I took this picture at night, but this is a navy, like, lacy dress from House of CB that is so cute, and it comes with this little, like, corset thingy that you put over the silk lacy dress, and it just snatches, and it's just, like, a really good dress, like they always are. This jacket is actually a vintage Prada jacket that I got last for this summer or spring and was waiting to wear it for like fall and winter so she's so cute I got her on a great deal a great sale because it was a weird time of year for it and she matches the Tony Bianco boots so perfectly so that was just meant to be definitely I'm like this is a Carrie Bradshaw maybe not Carrie Bradshaw it's not like interesting enough like weird enough i guess it's like a sex in the city moment i feel like maybe i'll make a reel in this outfit to the sex in the city so and my jackie o bag okay next is that same skirt from princess polly the grayish blue one the cropped white tank from white fox or maybe that's the boy one i, I just brought like a bunch of basic tanks and like t-shirts to cycle through and then this is also a jacket that i got the that I got from that sale too. This is a YSL jacket and it's so cool. I am obsessed with it. It's such nice quality. It fits so perfectly and it's super, super warm. So it's like a kind of like reddish brown color and it's like a bomber style, but it's more fitted actually and it's just 
it's really good these are the zara boots and the jackie o bag again okay next up this is that same jacket here i paired it with i don't know what's underneath that like a t-shirt or anything will do that one scarf to add like a little bit of a cozy texture the trousers from abercrombie the jackie o bag and my taz ugg slippers so i'm bringing both my uggs because it's cozy season and i just have so this is just like a casual daytime outfit good for maybe like meetings or something okay this next one i really really like this is the pair of abercrombie trousers again and then the crop tank this bomber this oversized kind of tannish greenish bomber is from h&m it's really comfy i have the samba sneakers on again super comfy the little louis vuitton bag and this yellow elwood hat i think i was telling our friends this last night actually i think yellow red and green are my favorite pops of color i just think that they look really like classic with everything wait i guess blue is a primary color right i can't remember but i think that those are my favorite pops of color so i the the yellow is just so satisfying to me and it has the green in it also i just think really nice good casual daytime outfit okay this one i also love this is a completely different vibe same pant from abercrombie these are the taz slippers cozy girl vibes the dior bag that we are abusing this is my boy tank and then this little cropped sweater over top is from house of cb last year or the year before and it's just like a chic simple still cozy outfit and if it's too cold in just this or any outfit for that matter i'm obviously just gonna put one of my many coats on Okay, this next one is that Princess Polly skirt and then a cropped tank, my black Prada bag, the mini Uggs with leg warmers, really cute together, and this varsity style half denim, half like khaki jacket from Paxan, which I think is really cute and really comfy and i just wanted to bring it because i feel like it's an easy good thing to just throw over things okay this next one is super comfy super casual daytime outfit this pair of joggers is actually from amazon and they are so flattering and comfy and i'm obsessed with them I styled them with my mini uggs a cropped white tank and then this jacket is from tala the jackie o bag and a beanie so just really comfy really casual this one is a little bit more street style this pair of pants is from asos they're like a cargo pant paired them with my platform converse and then this is a vintage sweater i got a vintage crew neck from russell that i got from springy jeans which they have the best stuff you guys need to stay tuned for their drops on sundays if you want good vintage stuff like that's already curated because they have the best stuff and then my little black prada bag and i did a little bra tuck because i just liked the proportions it made but you could wear it oversized obviously too and then this is that same pair of cargo pants but the picture before was actually after and i had cut off the length of these little strings because clayton was making me feel like they were too weird so i cut them off and i i like them better after so he was right paired those here with my sambas and then the same cropped white tank the teddy jacket from tala and a yankees hat my prada bag so this is just really comfy casual laid back kind of boyish kind of street style daytime outfit okay and then this one is really cute i love this little pop of color which is orange but it's kind of like a reddish orange and orange is amazing too i just think red yellow and green seem to be my favorite pops of color but anyways this is a really comfy cute sweater from abercrombie it's gray and it has brown writing on it so it's like boston something paired with asos denim like high-waisted i don't know what that fit is like a little bit tapered wide leg denim the mini uggs this amazing orange scarf which is from urban outfitters i believe and the jackie o bag for a little bit of texture so good casual daytime outfit i can just add on a coat if i need one okay and then this pair of pants is getting so much use i think we styled like 10 outfits with just this pair of pants for clayton and i styled a few myself they are camo sweatpants from amazon that my grandpa probably literally owns they are so comfy and they look so good with everything i am gonna style them mostly with my sambas i actually have some pictures in here with other sneakers but 
I decided to X that pair of sneakers and only do Sambas and Converse for my sneakers. So just keep that in mind. But here I have them with a little cropped white baby tee, that Pixie Market jacket that I shared earlier, and my Prada shoulder bag. So casual, cool girl, laid back kind of boyish outfit here. This one is that same pair of denim that I was wearing with the orange scarf. They're from ASOS. My Samba sneakers, again, I said so comfy. This is the Pixie Market jacket, Balenciaga dad hat, and then I have this little lace corset style top from Urban Outfitters. Clayton thinks maybe this top is like too much with this jacket, so I also have a plain just like black top or white top to wear under this, but... I don't know we were just like looking through all my outfits and he's like oh maybe that one is like that and I always like to get his advice and his feedback on my outfits because I feel like he sees things that I don't see and I see things that he doesn't see and I just value his opinion for it so I'm like okay maybe you're right maybe that's too much so we have a backup for her this is that pixie market jacket the princess Polly skirt just a white tee cropped tee Jackie O bag and these new balances actually got cut and I decided I'm just going to do the Sambas like I said. So that will be what's happening here. But I actually copied this outfit from a Hailey Bieber outfit that I recently saw. Um, I thought it was super cute and simple and that's what I was going for here. And she was wearing those shoes but they didn't make the cut for me. Here is the iconic camo sweatpants again. These are the shoes that also got cut. It will just be Sambas instead. This sweatshirt is from Brandy Melville. It says New York. It's two-toned. It's super cute and comfy. This is like, I just want to feel like and look like a boy kind of outfit. Probably with like a slick back bun like this and some jewelry. I think it would be so cute. And then last but not least, another outfit with the camo joggers. I have like kind of boxers on with that outfit and they actually look cute like popping out these shoes got the cut so it'll be sambas and then this is a skims cropped tee that i am obsessed with and that h&m bomber jacket and i don't think i have a purse here so that's it that was a lot of outfits i will link everything that i can for you guys and then i also threw in a lot of stuff last minute that i didn't style not like a lot of stuff but just a few jackets a few shirts um, I think I'm gonna put in this pair of denim that I'm wearing because I put them on today I'm like these should come with me. They're so good. Just a few things here and there So we'll see what happens. I'll probably go shopping definitely going thrifting while we're there anyways So this isn't the end-all be-all of everything I'll wear while I'm there, but it's kind of kind of most of it so hopefully this was helpful or at the very least interesting for you guys be sure to stay tuned for our new york city vlogs and i'll be filming fashion videos still while i'm over there so i'll see you guys then and as always thank you for watching i'll see you next time